Hello everybody! You'll notice I'm in a little bit of a different place uh, today. That's because I am currently pet sitting, uh, indoor house sitting, for my aunt. See? Sleepy puppy. So today, we're finally going to get to answering those questions you guys sent in like three months ago. I had it in the books to have them up before season seven, and it is the Thursday before that premiere, so... So with that said, let's get right to it. Okay, first question. Uh, actually, like a lot of you answered multiple qu or asked multiple questions, and that's okay. Um, first, we got some questions by Goldenbird15. Hello. Uh, how are you enjoying the MLP show so far as a whole? Uh, who would you like to see more of in the show? Um, I gotta tell you, um, after watching the more recent seasons, once you go back and watch, like, season one, uh, I mean, they have really been improving, just, at least from that standpoint. Um, if you want to talk since, like, the last few seasons, honestly, I still think, uh, season four was the best season of all, honestly, um, for a while season two held that but I think there was that arc. it was because there was that arc there was that one story tying the whole thing together that being um the keys arc kind of like them to do uh, one of those again but I don't know for some reason it's kind of hard to for me to judge season six as a whole probably because there was such a big like span of time in between where I didn't watch it as much and I just kind of disappeared from YouTube for a while as far as who I'd like to see more of, um, there were a couple of characters uh, this season that I'd love to see again. We'll get to those uh, later. But more than anyone, to be honest, I want them to bring Cheese Sandwich back, please. I want to see, like, more antics with him and Pinky. It's... It's so cute. They're like one of the few ships I have on the show, to be honest. So yeah, more cheese pie, please. And please give us a Celestia episode, like seeing a little more of her than the marketable side. I mean, we've done that with Luna a few times already, and I think that's part of the reason why people seem to like her so much more than Celestia, you know? Give, a give Celestia a little more material, material and more people will like her. <sighs> okay. Next set of questions. Uh, Special Rand Seven. Hello, I see you one here all the time. Uh, have you seen Moana yet? Yes, I saw that. Admittedly, kind of late. I think I saw it back in January or something, and it was very good. Honestly, it was um, it was kind of more like how I had wished Brave had uh turned out to be, because Brave is Scottish. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit of a Scot. That was probably a terrible accent. Sorry, ancestors. That being said, I'm pretty disappointed that every single Best Animated Award this past year went to Zootopia. Zootopia was good. It just... Ugh. Did it have to get every single one? Okay, next question. Which new character from MLP Season 6 is your favorite so far? Well, I finished watching the... Uh, I've watched all the seasons since you've asked me this, so... Um, to be totally honest, I may... You know, you guys may think I'm weird, but I really, really liked Quibble Pants. If, um... If you saw that episode, um, that commentary, you saw how I reacted to him. Especially once I realized he was voiced by, um, Patton Oswalt. I love how, like, more... You know, celebrities like that are getting in. Not even, you know, it doesn't even have to be big ones. As far as the animated world goes, though, uh, Pat Oswald, you know, he's done a lot of voices, so... I guess the next thing would be have, like, you know, Rob Paulson do a voice on the show. Wouldn't that be cool? By the way, did you know that Rob Paulson has his birthday on March 11th, and I have mine on the 10th? And guess who else has their birthday on March 10th? So do I get any points for having the same birthday as him? That was a segue if ever there was one. 
But yeah, aside from Google Pants, um, I'd love to see uh, Saffron Masala again. She was just so pretty. There was one more, but now I'm trying to remember who it was. Definitely the Changelings. I know we're gonna see more of them. Yeah, I think it was um, the new Changelings. So pretty. Okay, next question. Do you watch Star vs. The Forces of Evil? Uh, if so, what do you think of it? Honestly, I've seen clips of that, and honestly, the whole, uh, you know, general magic girl kind of show just doesn't really interest me that much. It works for ponies because pony. Or it works for pony because ponies. And honestly, I probably never would have even thought to look at My Little Pony if I hadn't gone to animation school when it was just coming out and making this huge fuss. And you know, you spend your time in the animation building around that time, you're gonna hear a lot about the show. So to answer your question, no, I haven't seen that one. And so far, I don't really know if I have much of an interest to, but never know. Uh, what is your favorite franchise? I wonder how many of you have heard of this little adventure game series called King's Quest. It actually started like way long ago, pretty much uh, the beginning of uh, gaming. And it's blasted all through basically the evolution of uh, video games. It's a point and click adventure series and you're basically following through an entire generation from game to game. Uh, you know, you start out, you're this knight called Graham, and the king has no heirs, so you are on this quest to find three magical items for him, and upon doing so, uh, you will become the next king of the kingdom, Daventry. That was the first game. Uh, game to game, you saw Graham become king, uh, find a bride, have kids, and then eventually you played as the kids as they found their own adventures and their own uh, love. And it seems like it was like 2007 or something like that, that uh, the last of that series ended. Um, but then another company picked it up and they made this beautiful, beautiful uh, new series out of it. I think it's just called King's Quest 2015. And I know you can get it on Steam and it's uh, separated into like five chapters, I think. Five or six chapters, I know there's an epilogue. And that one is, what they did with it was amazing. The art is so gorgeous. Uh, I'm sure I'm playing a trailer of it right now as we speak. But in that one, basically Graham is an old man and he's voiced by Christopher Lloyd. He's telling his granddaughter about his adventures uh, through his kinghood. So like the first one, it was what honestly is what really hooked me to the franchise because it is about how Graham became a knight. And this game is so cool, guys. I would just, I haven't gotten to play it myself because it only works for Windows and I have Mac and that's stupid. But um, I have watched so many playthroughs. I love these characters. They got some great voices uh, to uh, be in this thing. Young Graham is voiced by Josh Keaton. You've got your fellow knights, fellow knight hopefuls as they call them. Uh, you've got one voiced by Michael Leon Woolley who was Lewis in Princess and the Frog. You've got one voiced by uh, Richard White, who is Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. Awesome. You've got one voice by Wallace Shawn, who is, you know, inconceivable, and, you know, Rex from Toy Story. Uh, Tom Kenny, Kevin Michael Richardson, Loretta Devine, Zelda Williams, Kath Susie, Carol Walgreen. Just so many great voices. I love it. I love it so. <laughs> and I'm not going to give away what happens, like, at the end of the series, but oh boy, <laughs> it is, it's, it's a, it's a feels trip. Get ready and please go watch it because I love it so. 
Okay, well now that I've gone on that little uh, rant, um, who's your favorite Disney character? I'll be honest, I have a lot. <laughs> um, uh, I know I love, uh, well, honestly, Randall from Monsters, Inc. He's my favorite Disney villain. Odd. Uh, Marlin. Uh, Dr. Doppler. Needs more love, I swear. Jesse. Jose Carioca. Basil of Baker Street. But to be totally honest, the character I always end up listing as my fave is Timon. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Just, I love Timon. Uh, have I heard about the revamped series of DuckTales in 2017? Oh yes, I have. Um, honestly, I never watched the original DuckTales when I was little. Somehow, I missed out on that. But um, I know plenty of uh, people who did. And I may have to see if like Disney is fairly lenient on the uh, copyright stuff. I might start a blind reaction to that. Um, once it comes out, we'll see. I love me some Disney, and from what I've seen, like the, you know, sneak peeks and such, it seems like it's, um, gonna be really cool. Now, uh, what are my thoughts on the upcoming MLP movie? Honestly, I know, like, nothing about it, except according to the teaser, possibly, the animation style might be a little different. Um, I still need to do a reaction to that, honestly, and I'm gonna do that. But aside from that, I'm not really sure what to say, except I'm really excited. I'm like, I'm more hopeful than anything. I know a lot of people kind of get nervous and dreadful of this stuff, but no, not me. How much do you know your Pokemon? Uh, to be honest, the last generation that I really played was Gen 2. Um, I'd love to play some of the newer ones, but you know, a new video game system is just not in the cards for spending money when you're an adult. Most of my knowledge is up to, you know, Generation 2. I think the last game I played was, like, Silver. Um, but I know a little bit about future generations just from the internet. What are your hobbies? Well, definitely drawing is the big one. Uh, writing. Uh, I don't know if it really counts as a hobby, but the stuff I do over on Shark Cinema. Oh, I think it's more of an interest than a hobby, but animals. Some of you may know I go weekly to a museum to take care of, like, the the reptiles and amphibians there, so. You know, turtles, snakes, um, we have opossum, frogs, yeah. What music genre do you like best? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I am pretty ferociously a country girl. Um, I know that I find that pretty much a lot of people will say, you know, oh, I like all kinds of music except country. You know, I hear that like so many times, honestly. <laughs> and you know, it's it's what people prefer and all that. But uh, you know, some of the associations with country music are just kind of unfair, I think. But no big deal. I'm also finding I like electronic, kind of, but not like super synth, but like I found I like a lot of Owl City stuff, I think for that reason. It's got just enough of an electronic rock sound to it, but um, I literally do have like every single genre I can think of uh, on my iTunes. I know I have like, what, German techno bluegrass I have you know I have a lot of soundtrack music I like soundtrack music too but I find that you know instrumental country and electronic also orchestral remakes of like modern rock hip-hop pop whatever songs have you those are the bomb okay <laughs> there is one video uh, uh, on YouTube, I've watched like a billion times, and it's this orchestra doing Let's Get Loud, Party Rock Anthem, and Gangnam Style. And it's awesome. <laughs> How often do you watch Pony fan videos? 
Not as often as you would think, honestly. Um, simply because I don't know what I will end up doing a commentary to. Or, in a lot of cases, I know that, like, I, I try to keep this channel as G-rated as possible because I know I have, I think, I think I have some younger viewers um, on here. So, if I see a video and I know it, that it's not exactly going to fit that criteria, you know, I'll watch it myself. But, not as much as you may think. Because I know there's a lot of good stuff out there. Okay, what was your favorite cartoon show from your childhood? I could genuinely go on and on about Animaniacs because I feel like it really played a big part in kind of making me who I am. Uh, you know, getting me into animation and getting me interested in character and all that. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> You know, that, that States and Capitals song, I absolutely aced that quiz in middle school because of Wacko. And of course, the other great thing was when, you know, I decided to watch the show again, like, you know, ten years later, and then you watch it, and you hear these jokes, and you go, what, was, were those always in there? <laughs> I'm, like, honestly surprised by how they did that. But what's even better is, like, I kid you not, I got, like, one of the disc sets for Christmas. Not this past year, but I think... No, it was... Was it this past year? Maybe it was the year before, or maybe it was for my birthday. Um, when my family and I were on vacation, I took one of the discs and stuck them in, and I swear that me and my mom and my dad all sat, and all three of us, three grown adults, were like just captivated by the show for like five or six straight episodes. It was great. You know, laughing, just... I love this show. Alright, moving on to the next uh, person. Um, Luis the Sim. You appear on a lot of my stuff too, so thanks. Um, I absolutely love you. Thank you. Okay. How would you feel if they made a new Animaniacs movie slash show, but it had lots of emotion in it, like Frozen? Um, to be honest, I think they already reached that, really that, uh, that nice blend, um, in Wacko's Wish. Because with a show like Animaniacs, you know, when you have comedy going that hard, you have to be careful with how you introduce the drama. Um, and honestly, I think in that movie, they introduced it like just the perfect amount. Like, add a little, little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of sentimentality, but with that Warner Brother punch. And yeah, that scene at the end of Wacko's Wish, just... <gasps> that was almost tipping like... That, that was a little bit of a shock factor, honestly. I don't know if they need to do more than that. Um, I'd like to see, honestly, Wacko get a little more recognition because that movie was very strongly about the bond between Yakko and Dot. And, I don't know, I felt like Wacko needed a bit more involvement. But for what it was, it was wonderful and, like, really sweet. And, like, the story, I'm just... You fans know the story. Alright, so... How would you feel about an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit movie slash show? Yes, please! Right now, I'm honestly concerned that maybe they are redoing Oswald's character. I'm not sure. Um, because, I, you know, his character was great in Epic Mickey, but a lot of that was based off of actual historical events. And they may decide to go somewhere different with that. Because um, when, when Epic Mickey was made, I'm not sure how much involvement Disney had in developing that personality for Oswald. Because, yeah, Oswald kind of had a character back in 
the uh, the twenties when he was around, but just animator or storytellers have gotten you know a lot more wise and creative with you know making complex characters. So I think that's why we haven't seen him for a while. But yes, please, I really want more Oswald. Like I. I will buy all the Oswald merchandise I can with my meager salary because I want Walt's very first creation ever to come back. We're on the right track. We are. Okay, next uh, questioner. We have... S S I can never get this right. S Sasami-chan, um, who helped me a lot with the Epic Mickey playthrough, so thanks, dude. Uh, what are your favorite Disney characters who are not in princess movies? Uh, what would you like to see done with them, and have you heard any Disney movies or Disney rumors to get hyped over? Um, I kind of already answered this one already, as far as favorite Disney characters. Um, a lot of them, I'm not sure if they'll ever come back, because I tend to like a lot of obscure characters. Like, there was... They said if there was a third Monsters, Inc. movie, it would be more about Randall, which I'd love to see. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. If... I'm pretty, you know, I know there's going to be more Jesse uh, with uh, the next Toy Story 3, so that's awesome. Um, I really want to see, I wish they would put Basil in more, because he really is like, he feels like a, a Doctor Who kind of character, just a little more serious. If we could do like a Disney cartoon show, maybe kind of like the same way they made the Tangled series and make it like a kid's version of the BBC Sherlock um, with Basil and like you know show like the breakdown and the thought process of all these mysteries that would be awesome have I heard any Disney rumors to get hyped over I am genuinely excited honestly for the Frozen Broadway uh, possibly more than the sequel honestly I can't wait to see, like, the cool tricks they can pull with that. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually really excited about the Lion King remake. Um, James Earl Jones is gonna be back as Mufasa. Thank goodness, nobody else could ever play him the same way. But to be honest, I'm optimistic about a lot of the Disney uh, live-action remakes. Haven't seen the new Beauty and the Beast yet, gotta get to that. Um, I know they have a Big Hero 6 show coming. That's gonna be really cool. Um, I honestly, I want them to do something else with Princess and the Frog. That's all I can think of right now. I think there was another one. Hmm. What would you like to see in future episodes of MLP? Meaning any that are out or you didn't see yet, or episodes not made yet? Um, pretty much answered this one too. I hope they can do something good with, um, just keep the story going, you know? So I feel like we haven't seen as much Twilight. She's kind of been the teacher role uh, a lot this season, so maybe we'll get to see more with her coming up. Uh, does she have a next step to her story? I don't know. She's been a princess for three seasons now. Half the show. Wow. What cartoons and video games are on your list of things you'll do in 2017? And when will we be seeing them? Well, okay. Well, obviously I'm going to do Epic Mickey 2 when I can. That may possibly be during like a season break or something like that. If they decide to, you know, stop the season halfway and wait a couple of weeks and then resume it, maybe then. I'm definitely gonna probably do more Disney stuff since I am just fully and wholly a Disney child. I'm working on a highlight reel from the gameplay of the first Epic Mickey. Um, I want to watch the new Mickey Mouse cartoons. Um, I haven't seen any of those, honestly. I've seen just little, like, tidbits here and there. One of which, like, I'm, I'm sure when I come across it, I'll go, oh yeah, this is the one, because I, I heard the audio for it on loop when, we, when I worked at the Disney store. It played in the theaters, and I never actually saw it. I just heard it over and over again. <laughs> Maybe some attraction stuff. Um, basically, I think just anything I'll get super hyped over. And as to when you'll see them, I can't give you an exact date. Sorry. But, uh, we'll see. And what do you enjoy that you won't be reacting to because you already saw it? Um, 
I did want to do like some stuff on like Animaniacs and like uh, Turnabout Storm. Um, hopefully they will do another chapter of that because that is a really cool series and I wish I could have you know done a blind commentary of that because that was pretty darn awesome. Um, I want to try more pony games if I can if they'll work on my computer like hopefully they'll do um welcome to is it welcome to ponyville yeah act two if that comes out uh stuff like ponymon and all that if you guys know of this stuff then tell me because i don't i don't really have a way of uh knowing it i've stayed off of equestria daily for a while now okay last question uh this is from princess twilight sparkle i uh, thank you your grace or your Highness. Yeah, that's right. Grace more applies to, like, Duchess and all that, and Lord and Duke and all. What plans do you have in mind? I kind of already went through that, but aside from the stuff I plan to watch, um, I might start a new channel, possibly, just to have something extra. Just in case, you know, copyright goes crazy and all that. Um, I know I've had a few episodes taken down. I am going to try and either repost those or uh, redirect to them. Um, let me start using Google Drive if I can figure out how to use it. Because then I can commentate on a lot more stuff. And I think next time I will possibly do a live Q&A. That might be a little more... Um, time sound. We'll see. And that was the last question and you guys are all so sweet and you left such sweet comments and thank you all so much. I can't believe I'm going into my third season of commentary now. That's crazy. Where'd it come from? And with that, thank you guys. I love you.